Okay, so this is totally all content to the video, but if you can see Damari, like, you see how she is, yo, like, oh my god, like, yo, one time, hit it for the back, like, yo, she got an ass, Damari has a body, bro, like, yo, she her tied up like this, like, she got an ass, but who the fuck is this nigga right here? What is going on, everybody? Black side man on the mic, speaking what's good, what's good? Good, yo, it's time for a fairy tale manga review, and it's been a while since I did one. But like I told you guys, I will be doing more fairy tale content since you know, you know, it's fairy tale, so why not? So, pretty much, this chapter begins off with Mira. Mira J had defeated two of the both of Ari's um, assistants, but apparently, they was sores. I don't know how the fuck Mar uh, Irene has some type of magic where she can make any object. A human being or whatnot, like her magic is fucking phenomenal. Like, I didn't even. I'm thinking those chicks was like, you know, fucking pupils to her, but those are fucking swords. And I'm like, how the fuck you? Be, how the fuck a sword became a human being? Like, what the fuck is this shit? So pretty much, I recently appeared behind Mary J. Mary J. is like, she's on her knees. Mary J. is like scared of the power that Irene has in stores. Like, yo, Irene has a lot of power in her. Like that fucking universe one where she fucking makes math everything within the whole fucking continent. Uh, Ashigar, I'm like, yo, this chick is OP as fuck. And again, yo. I'm hoping that this is Urza's mother because I didn't talk about this, but I think it was uh fuck, I can't remember, but it was the second the the second chapter at the last week the, the the chapter for two weeks ago it was talking about mother and child and Irene noticed a cessation and she used some type of eye magic and she see Urza and she's like that scarlet hair so I'm thinking okay that's fucking Urza's mother now hold on let's like yo shit is about to get real up in this bitch so pretty much uh back to the current chapter I. Irene pretty much, she fucking already bondage fucking Mary Jane, yo, like fucking Irene is into some bondage shit, like bruh, she already got Mary Jane all fucking ch chained up and whatnot against a fucking wall, and then suddenly August and Brandis appear, I don't know what happened, uh, I don't know, like pretty much I guess when Irene's Universe 1 took active, it pretty much scattered Brandis, it pretty much scattered some of the Spartacon 12 with each other because Brandis was supposed to be with Nasu and though, but apparently she is not. So August is stating to her that it's time that we all get together. But first and foremost, he got you know, he got a little bit salty to the fact that Irene used her universe one magic because she's fucking you know, Irene's the type of woman that like to do what she she want as as she please, man. You know, I mean you see Irene, man, I mean I let her do anything. Like you know, she wanna fucking Hit me, bro, hit me, yo, like, real shit, she let me hit it from the back one time, like, I'll be good, like, one more time before I go, but other than that, pretty much, uh, Irene was just stating that she has to kill Mirror Jane off, instantly August fucking shot some type of magical beam towards Mirror Jane's fucking heart, and Mirror Jane was down for the count, like, legit, all that happened in one fucking shot, he pierced through her heart, and Mirror Jane was literally down for the count, Irene was like, well, I I guess I don't have to take care of her anymore. Like, fuck. And I know a lot of people were scared to this fact. But as soon as they disappeared, Mir Lizana came through to see Mira J. She pretty much called for Mira J. She thought that Mira J pretty much died. But apparently, Mira came back. Pretty, uh, apparently, Brandis used her magic to shorten the, the fucking wound in her heart. So she was pretty much good. Brandis came back, so at least we know that Brandis is not all evil, she's not evil to the fact that, you know, she's now with August and fucking Irene, and pretty much all the Spartan God 12 are getting together, this was what Mirror stated that they need to get to the guild, because Zareth is already at the fucking guild with Mavis, I don't know if he's fucking her from the back, or you know, he's trying to get some feel on or whatnot, but pretty much Zareth and Mavis are the only ones at the guild, Nasu and the others are already on their way to the guild, where I'm gonna fuck the guild at, Gajio's alive, that's pretty awesome, you know, so pretty much when this war is over, uh, pretty much him and Levy will get married probably, who knows? Um, but other than that, shit. And not to mention, before I forget, fucking Yukino finally met fucking Angel, uh, Sor Sorano, I think that's you say Angel's name, pretty much, um, like, Angel told her, yo, I'm not your sister, like, kid, relax, but Yukino already know that's, that's fucking her sister, like, Angel's just, the thing is, Angel is, like, she don't want to see her little sister because all the stuff that she did for the past, she want to atone for her sins and all the things that she done because, like, she want, to, she want her sister to see her 
as a person that that's been a toll for sins and whatnot. And I guess they had a heartwarming moment because you know Angel was crying too because you know it's been so long since she seen her sister or whatnot. Because remember, Angel was also taken from the same people that took Urza when they was kids. So you know it's kind of it's kind of hard. Okay, we'll take this all do. What well, other than that, man? So much has happened. I'm still waiting for, you know, a lot of shit to happen. But then we get to fucking Demaria. Demaria is pretty much, I guess he's trying to run away and whatnot. Yo, can we please just, can, yo, if y'all see Demaria in that chapter, can y'all please, like, yo, like, yo, y'all would hit it from the back one time. Like, yo, Demaria bad as fuck. I think besides Brandis and Irene, I would love to hit Demaria. Oh, man. But anyway, none of that, none of that, none of that, none of that. Pretty much Demaria was trying to get away because she was a prisoner now thanks to Wendy kicking her ass along with uh, Util and uh, fucking um, Celia. She tried to get away and whatnot. The people, uh, the people tried to capture her back. And then suddenly some fucking Drag Neil nigga come out of nowhere. I think the nigga name is Rocky Drag Neil. Don't even get me started with the people on Tumblr. Now, people are, are saying that, yo, this might be Nasu's brother or his Zeroth and Nasu's brother, father. I'm like, how many fucking drag deals is there now? I mean, I thought the only drag deals was fucking Nasu and Zeroth. And Nasu is dead, so it's like, what? <laughs> what is going on, man? Like, holy shit. I mean, the guy looked like God Serenia, the first fucking, the, the, the saint nigga. From the the, the 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 ten wizard saints, that's who he looked like. But apparently, it's another drag deal. And I'm like, how many fucking drag deals is there? Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, yo, where's Archidologia? Is Archidologia low key a drag deal as well? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't understand anything no more, man. Like, holy shit. So pretty much, he pretty much, uh, you know, took out the guards or whatnot. I would say took out. Pretty much, he, I guess, he pretty much. Seduced their souls and whatnot, and had them paralyzed in the moment, I guess, because of how holy I think his magic is. I like, I honestly think he's a holy dragon slayer, like, not like Sting, but in his own way, because he get to fuck around with the souls and make them feel pleasurable. But I don't know, man. Tell me what you guys think about this Mega Chapter. Tell me what you think about Rocky uh, Dragon Neal. I don't even know if that's his name because I think other people said it was what uh, Luke Luke Carlos, uh Dragon Neal. I don't I don't know how to say the niggas. I don't know, man. Luke Drake Neal. I don't know how the fuck to say this man's name. But uh, tell me what you guys think about him. And if you guys want me to talk about him, hit me on the comment section. I'll do my little share one tape, man. I don't know, man. Just the fuck. Who the fuck is Larkade L- 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 Drake Neal? Oh, no. I-, I don't know, man. Yo, this big boy turned oblivion, man. This chapter might fuck me at the end. Like, who the fuck is this guy? Like, I don't know, man. Like, holy shit. Again, people are like, yo, it's probably their father or another brother. And I'm like, no. <laughs> so, yo, this big boy turned oblivion, man. I am signing out. Peace, man. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe to the channel if you like to contact me. And so, man, I'm out. Peace. Peace.